rolling. Just a quick test of the microphone. Hello microphone. How you doing? You picking me up? Let's check it. Microphone seems to be working, so we'll jump right into it. I just received something in the mail from Amazon. This little guy. This is the uh, Godox Lightmons LA200D 230 watt video light. Rated at 110,000 lux at 1 meter. 5600 Kelvin. So let's do an unboxing and a quick test with this guy Sokani X2V60. Yeah, so this is exactly what came from Amazon. No other packaging except this. So let's see what we have open. Little pamphlet thingy key. Shows you what's inside the box. They're inside the computer. Uh, little cloth thing. Uh, appears to be quite a length of cable with a very nice little this is awesome and a little velcro strappy to secure it ha let us inspect the contents if you can just focus on the correct Okay, this must be the. Uh, oh, that's quite a. That's quite a hefty uh, power supply. And uh, it comes with an XLR connector. Jump up there. Um, ah, this is for that same connector. Um, oh, and a hangy cable thingy. Yeah, so you. Use this uh, and this to hang this guy on your stand. Okay, reflector, our box. Huh. Definitely a bit heavier than the uh, Sokani. It's uh, oh, that's quite nice. It comes with a like a protective cap. I think a rear display with some very easy to use controls. Nice solid branding and I kind of like this. This power bank also comes with a focus little velcro strappy to keep your cables nice and tidy. Uh, the port is a standard like kettle plug, computer plug, so anything uh, will work. This is a fabulously long cable, but it comes with one of these. So if you're in the rest of the world like me, you're shit out of luck. I'm uh, gonna have to get an adapter or just 
I don't know, go down to your local hardware store and just buy, or computer store and just buy a regular. But this thing is deliciously long, oh my word. Let's untangle this mess. Is it too close? Okay, you see, ah, you see that little hole? So the uh, steel cable will feed through that. And so you'd wrap this around. Can you please focus here, camera? Like AD, ADHD, buddy. Um, see, you can. Oh yeah, you can quite nicely adjust the tension. So we. Pop it through there. Okay, so the the rubber will come on. So the the rubber will help it from slipping out. So it comes with a another connector and. focus back this way and you can literally just then hang this either from there or on the opposite side this guy so there's only one way it can go in Boom. nice snapped into place Some, uh, I, I just cannot get over how thick this cable is. It's like mm, um, nice and thick. So let's get this guy plugged in and we'll see right off the bat what I like about this light is how easily it is to just quickly change your angle and then very securely lock it. mechanism it's even focused on me okay so let's do a switchy on uh, and that is at 50 percent and adjusting it feels very nice and soft Currently it's at 1%. Uh, there is a Bluetooth function that you can link your app to. You press it, it'll give you your Bluetooth code. Uh, I'm not using Bluetooth at the moment, so 1%. Oh, that's quite nice. The Sukhani does not have that from 1... Oh, good switch off. doesn't have that smooth from 1 to 10%. Let's keep going up. There we have uh, 50. You can see it's already killing that light back there. Let's see if we can can we adjust while we record. Oh, no adjust. Okay, I'm just gonna go to 100. Uh, it's gonna blow out completely. Oh my word, that is strong. That is very strong. Let's bring it down. All right, I'm gonna set up the light side by side and check the exposure values. Hold on. Okay, so I'm just setting up a little uh, still life. I'm gonna take photos of my Nikon D750 and I will tell you guys what the exposure values are. I'm just kidding. These lights exactly one meter away from the. Okay, 
Okay. All set up. So both lights are running at 10%. And you can see the uh, Godox is definitely stronger. If I switch him off, Godox only. slightly different. Um, okay, I'll do a reflector and also a no reflector test. Let's do the Sakani first um, and I'm very interested in seeing the 100% so this is going to get cranked up really high. Uh, current exposure on my Z50 is ISO 100 f1.4 16th hundredth of a second. So let's see. So we can be about it. Probably going to block the view now. Okay. Getting a pretty good. I don't know if you can see it even. Oh, okay, I'll just superimpose the photo. But that seems to be a very solid. Okay, time for the Godox. Let's maybe see at what temperature or uh, what setting I get the exact same exposure. This almost seems. <laughs> Let's move this over at a slightly different angle so you don't see the back of my beautiful head. Um, Okay, so the Sakani was running at 100%. Godox at the moment is at 25%. Um, the exposure is already matching. The uh, Sakani here is running at was running at 100% and the Godox at 25% and the exposures are already matching to that other one's going to blow it at 60% uh, 80 uh, let's go to 100 and 100 so am I running uh, 4 thousandth of a second f1.4 ISO 100 on my Z50 and well, that's very bright. Uh, yeah, that's definitely gonna be overexposed by quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna have to up my f stop. Okay, so I went from f 1.8 to f 4 to get the exact same exposure. So that is that's three stops that's quite a bit of power okay so my phone has a crude lux meter built in both lights are equal distance from the wall and i'm going to place it in the hot spot eight six two five that's a nine oh two eight eight two oh nine eight five five nine Seven five six five eight one five nine. So around about in that in that range. Okay, let's check out the uh, Mr. Godox. Then distance from the wall. Lux meter. Uh, Twenty-seven thousand five hundred sixty-seven. Twenty-five thousand six hundred. Twenty-six thousand eight hundred. 28,955 so around about in that range. Okay, let's do without reflectors. So keeping the distance the same. No reflector. 4,274. Same, 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 same. Okay, seems very flat. Are they? 3986. 
3947 switch him off and we need to take off the Four hundred eighty, one thousand three hundred ninety, thousand four hundred seventy six, roughly in that range. And just while we are here, quick, quick. It's going to keep quiet so you can hear the fan noise. This is just a little extra for me. I have a, a gobo jig. So this is the Godox at two and a half meters away from the wall at 100%. These, oh, these gobos do shower up a lot of lumens output. Again, okay, let's try it on the on the Sokani. I said light switch. Okay, let's go. That way. Okay. Yep. And that is 100%. I'll have to see. At the moment it's just running a f1.8 lens. I suspect you need like f1.2 to really get juice going. Well, I guess that's it for the test.